Welcome to one of our priceless videos. Dreamcast TV. Do you like collecting? Then please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click on the like button because it does something very special. It makes you younger. In this fickle, unpredictable digital age of ours where money is being turned into ones and zeros, it's hardly surprising that people, you can't blame people for spending their money on things that actually last, like diamonds, which are scratch resistant and the hardest item in the world. As the name of that James Bond movie, that famous James Bond movie suggests, perhaps diamonds are forever. And that could be a reason why this ultra rare, nearly 60 carat pink star diamond fetched a record breaking $83 million at auction in November of 2013. Of course, this isn't the most valuable diamond in the world. There are a number of diamonds that have estimates, estimated values of hundreds of millions. Now, one of them might even be approaching a billion. But they aren't likely to be sold at a public auction anytime soon, especially since a number of them are owned by the British Crown. So the only time they're going to be sold is if the whole country goes bankrupt. Hmm. Wait until the next bumper recession then for a big bargain. Here is perhaps the most valuable diamond in the world. It's called the Kohinoor, which, as its name suggests, is from India. It was passed on to Queen Victoria, although, of course, the Indians might kind of reword that slightly. Anyway, it was passed on when India was taken over by the British Empire. Since it's one of the most valuable, if not the most valuable diamond in the world, and it's steeped in Indian history, it's hardly surprising that the Indians would like it back. Just imagine though, if the royal family had to return all that their ancestors had stolen over the centuries, they'd have to take up residence in a run-down council flat and live off benefits for the rest of their lives. Once again, here is that fantastic pink star, or the pink dream as it has been renamed by the new owner, Isaac Wolfe. Anyway, I'll let you dream about what would you do if you own this $83 million diamond. Now you've seen this video, you might want to check out the others in this series, such as the most valuable baseball and soccer cards, or how about the rarest stamps in the whole world, or are you interested in the most sought after superhero comic book, or would you like to find out about the most expensive postcard, and who came up with the idea of postcards in the first place? Please click on one of these video thumbnail images right now. And if you like collecting cards, you might want to subscribe to and click on my hundreds of other videos on my channel. Thanks for watching.